And it may not be that following Jesus is hard for you now. Friends, buckle up. It will be. And so you may not need this word now, but I can guarantee you in the next five years, you'll need it at some point. And so put it in the foundation of your faith and keep it there. In the same chapter, we get one servant of God who is murdered and beheaded, and then a, a second servant of God who's arrested by that same king with the same intentions, and he's released supernaturally, as we'll see in a moment. And the reason I'm stopping here is because most times this passage gets preached, you only get the second half of the story. Some of you in prison like Peter. Some of you need a move of God. If you were with God, he's with you. And the whole thing goes on and on as if to say, if you follow Jesus, he'll always get you out of prison. And I'm like, well, that would be a nice point, except it's not true because the five verses that open this chapter talk about a guy who faithfully followed Jesus and got his head cut off. So we got to make sure we're telling the whole story. And the whole story is God is sovereign over servants and swords. 